Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Ryan Salazar here with another edition of NAB Show Live and Broadcast Beats pre-NAB Show coverage. Today we have Alberto Sieri with Matrox in Montreal. How you doing, sir? I'm very good. And yourself? Doing great. Doing great. So talk about uh, Matrox and what you guys are doing at NAB Show. Well, at the NAB this year, we're going to be focusing on basically uh, the two main segments of our business, which is our, um, our uh, uh, streaming and recording appliances and also our various uh, OEM products that we have for, for developers. On the streaming and recording appliances, we, uh, we're going to be showing some uh, new software that we have for the Monarch HDX, which is our higher end um, a, a product. Uh, which is a fantastic solution for the broadcast industry when it comes to doing recording. Uh, it has a, it's a device that has SDI in and out and also HDMI. And it has basically the ability to record two uh, streams in parallel. So by being able to do this H.264 encoding, which can be either in MP4s or MOVs, it allows users to be able to record to a network map drive or locally to either a USB drive or an SD card that you can add into the, into the device. And at NEB, we're focusing on a new feature which allows us to have some sort of basically the ability to have a discover, uh, disaster recovery. In the cases where during a recording something bad happens, we are allow users to create small segments, uh, record in small segments. So if the crashes, they only lose the last depending on what size they decided for that to be, the last second, the last two minutes or whatever, versus losing a whole uh, long recording. So these are some of the new features that we're going to be focusing on that side of our product line, which is our Monarch uh, family. And then on our OEM side, uh, you know, Matrox has works with many uh, important broadcast equipment manufacturers from all over the world. And at the show, we were going to be leading the way with some new products to deal with this new SDI to IP transition, dealing with so many new different protocols that exist in the market, such as SMPTE 2022, Aspen, uh, TR03, and 4. So we're going to be uh, talking about that at, at NEB. Um, but we're also going to be showing our uh, M264, uh, H264 codec card, which can handle multiple streams of uh, H.264 encodes or decodes uh, from 4 to 0 up to 4 to 2 10 bit also have giving ability for us to to record uh, 4K P60 XABC and we'll be, be showing a production workflows with that. Um, we'll also focus how we can also do multiple decodes. We can do up to 16 H streams and decodes so that would be a way to, uh, to, to deal with a lot of these new IP multi viewers that are going to be coming out on the market. The other area that we're focusing on when it comes to uh, our OEM partners is, yeah, as you know, there's a lot of buzz about cloud-based playout, right? Broadcasters want to be able to quickly and easily uh, turn on channels, and the cloud allows them to do this. And Matrox, not only since we don't just make hardware, but we also provide software. And, and at NEB, we're going to be focusing on a new product called DSX Core, which is a 100% software-based product. And we have several OEMs. Um, one of them is Pebble Beach Systems, who will be showing uh, their cloud-based product based on our SDK, or should I say on our DSX core. Excellent. Uh, Pebble Beach, we know very well. In fact, we just did a video interview uh, a couple weeks ago. Snell Advanced Media, another one of uh, the folks that, that work with you guys. Um, I'm curious, so you guys have evolved as a company over the last, for, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years, I think. Talk about the history of your organization. Well, Matrox as a, as a company is a uh, privately held company. It's been around for now, this year, it's our 40th anniversary, which is quite amazing uh, for a privately held company, a high-tech company, uh, especially in Canada. Um, the, the original founders are still very much involved with the company, their name are Bronco Matic and Lauren Trotzier. And, you know, Matrox has uh, fo primarily focused on uh, hardware, but now we've expanded our reach to have great hardware and software uh, uh, products. And, you know, the company right now has three main business units. Uh, we have a division that was for known for making great GPU cards. Uh, they're, now they're more dealing with specialized graphic type of, uh, uh, workflows. Uh, we have another division that deals what we call with image processing or machine vision. And then the division that I'm responsible for is our video products group. And we deal with um, basically uh, products, computer hardware and software uh, for the uh, broadcast and other, other industries. So we have companies that make uh, computer graphics systems such as VizRT, 
using our hardware and software. We have companies doing video servers, uh, in particular channel in the box type video servers. And like you said, you mentioned uh, Snell Advanced Media. They're they're one of our customers who use uh, who make build their channel in the box using our 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 solutions. And we've also expanded to other areas, such as in the medical field, people are using our encoders to do uh, endoscopy recording machines. Or now there's also a new trend to uh, to do smart operating rooms, and they're using our hardware to do create these different video switching type environments, similar to what you see in a uh, broadcast control room. Again, Alberto Sierra, Senior Director, Sales and Marketing at Matrox. Go ahead and share your booth number, sir. Yes, uh, as always, we're going to be located in the South Lower. Uh, hall at, at NEB this year and this year our booth number is 6317 and we look forward to seeing you guys at the show.